Hi everyone, ang ating module number 4 is about global networks. So what is a global network? A global network is any communication network which spans the entire earth. So a global networking has immense economic value because it enables international exchange. International trade allows countries to expand their markets to include goods and services from other countries that would not be otherwise available domestically. So what is the role of a network in globalization? It is the connection of different parts of the world. So globalization results in expansion of international, cultural, economic, and political activities. It is the most powerful force for change in the world today, affecting all societies in the planet. So it entails the movement of capital, the free flow of goods and services, the increase of mobility of individuals, and the expansion of multinational corporations and transnational organizations. One of the goals of globalization is for the world to become more interdependent. It aims to standardize the income distribution through its economic integ integration schemes. We have four types of globalization. We have the economic globalization, informational, political, and cultural. So when we say economic globalization, it is when countries trade with others and are having a few trade barriers. While informational, it is when the information and ideas can easily pass between people in their own country and between different countries. So it includes the access of internet and social media networks. While in the political, it is when there is an amount of political cooperation between countries. In the cultural globalization, it is when there is a sharing of ideas, attitudes, and values across national borders. This sharing of ideas generally leads to an interconnectedness and interaction between peoples of diverse culture and ways of life, wherein mass media and communication technologies are primary instrument for the cultural globalization. Here are the causes of globalization. Improved communication. So the development of communication technologies such as the internet, the email, and mobile phones have been a vital to the growth of globalization because they help multinational corporations to operate throughout the world. The development of satellite TV channels such as Sky Cables and CNN have also provided the worldwide marketing avenue for the concept and products of globalization. Also, the improved transport. Because the development of refrigerated and container transport, the bulk shipping and improved air transport has allowed the easy mass movement of goods throughout the world. Also, we have the free trade agreements. So in the free trade agreements, the multinational and rich capitalist countries have always promoted a global free trade as a way of increasing their own wealth and influence. While in global banking, the development of modern, of modern communication technologies allows vast amounts of capital to flow freely and instantly throughout the world. And number five, we have the growth of multinational corporations because the rapid growth of a big uh, multinational corporations and its investment in the farms, mines, and factories across the world is a major part of globalization. So therefore, globalization allows multinational corporations to produce goods and services 
and to sell products on a massive scale throughout the world. After knowing the causes of globalization, here are now the effects. So number one is the change for or the change of food supply. So because food supply is no longer tied up the seasons, we can buy food anywhere in the world at any time of the year. Another one is the division of labor because the multinational corporations always search for the cheapest location to manufacture and assemble components. So the production processes may be moved from a developed to a developing countries where costs are lower. Another is the uh, less job security because in a global economy, Jobs are becoming more temporary and insecure. A survey of American workers showed that people now hold 7 to 10 jobs over their working life. So another um, effects is the damage to the environment because more trade means more transport in which it uses more fossil fuels and can cause pollution. So climate change is a serious threat to our future. Next we have is the cultural impact. Because websites such as YouTube connects people across the planet. So as the world becomes more unified, diverse, and, uh, diverse cultures are, are being ignored. So multinational corporations can create a monoculture as they remove local competition and they thereby force local firms to close. So another is the increase of anti-globalization protests because there is a growing awareness of the negative impacts of globalization. People have begun to realize that globalization can be challenged by communities supporting each other in a business and society and throughout or through public protest and political lobbying. So now that you already understand the causes and effects of globalization, another global issue that is linked with economic growth, poverty, and human rights is migration. Not only because it can have many social and economic benefits, but also it presents challenges. So what is migration? Migration is the movement by people from one place to another with the intention of setting permanently in the new location. The movement is often long distance and from one country to another, but internal migration is also possible. Well, here are the reasons for migration. In the full factors, you can see here that some people move because they may be in search of um, work or economic opportunities. Some are looking for the health care, for the peace and good education or to study, or um, the right food or maybe because they wanted to have a city life. Well, in the push factor, they move to escape probably because of cli uh, climatic disasters or maybe the farmer's life, poverty, war or conflict, the persecution, terrorism or maybe human rights violations. Okay, so let us now summarize our topic for this lesson. So we discuss about global network or globalization the types of globalization, the causes and effects of globalization, migration, and the reasons for migration. So I hope you learned something from this lesson. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.